Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt Rogers. Now let's talk about Neo Yokio. Now Neo Yokio is a new Netflix original anime starring Jaden Smith. Now I'm new to all things anime, but I'm a huge Jaden Smith fan, so I decided to pick this one up. Now it's definitely Jaden Smith the anime. The main character Kaz is pretty much learning how to become Jaden, especially after his fashion makeover and his best friend Lexi's stance on gender. Now all this could be easily seen as cringy, but Neo Yokio sort of doesn't take itself too seriously, which is the tone it needs to pull it off. I love how Kaz speaks in fancy cliches and old English verses, he even calls the sales clerk sales clerk and it's like the writers have basically taken quotes out of Jaden Smith's Twitter account. Neo Yokio at times holds a mirror up to society and questions why we do the things that we do, which again is a Jaden Smith trait who's notoriously anti-establishment. It touches on the cheesiness of Japanese anime, but at the heart it's still very western. Speaking of which, it is interesting to see Netflix dropping these American animes, such as this and the uh, recent Castlevania series. Looks like Netflix is trying to tap into the anime market. The characters in Neo Yokio are so unique, my favourite by far was the headmaster. What in the name of Shakespeare's ass is going on here? I also love the gay music professor who has a Gregorian house DJ for a boyfriend. And some big names here, Jude Law, Susan Sarandon and Steve Buscemi as the remembrancer. Overall there wasn't much story and what little was there was not that deep, but Neo Yokio doesn't try to be, resulting in an original and entertaining world with colourful characters sprinkled throughout. But let me know in the comments, what did you think of Jaden Smith the anime? But thanks so much for hanging out, if you had a good time then spank that like button, and if you subscribe during this video then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, signing off.